Hi, I'm honoured to be here at Arch Latrobe PA to present the Anchor 2020 Tool of the Year Award. An Anchor industry first competition, now into its third year, generates entrance from all over the world. Some really very impressive cutting tools have been uh, submitted to the Anchor Group for their evaluation from uh, speciality, uh, performance, accuracy to uh, drawing, surface finish, and uh, uh, customized to detail. Anchor is an industry, this is an industry first for Anchor, the tool of the year, now into its uh, third year. The Anchor Tool of the Year offers entrance, high profile, prestige, exposure, a meaning boost to the brand credentials, an outstanding story to tell. And I look around and see the fine people here that, uh, that have a story to tell about their tool. Recognition and motivation of staff. We see this throughout, the, the, the passion that people have in, uh, in grinding tools and that we challenge them to submit their tool of the year. Direct links to a wider network of key industry innovators and leaders and influencers to the market. But more critical is the celebration of craftsmanship and the art of tool making through the important award that we celebrate with machinists and tool makers around the world. It is this love and passion that we see day to day. If you're out on social media, you will see a very strong presence of anchor users and tool grinders of all parts utilizing social media to promote uh, cutting tools and special profile tools that they're manufacturing on their machines in the industry today. This is, this is a love, it's an art, and it's a craftsmanship that anchor truly wants to honor and recognize. So with that, some statistics just on Anchor Tool of the Year that uh, my friends uh, may like to, uh, to know that their submission of, of Tool of the Year received 81,000 impressions. So combination of, of all the tools that people clicked on the link and uh, acknowledged brought 81,000 around the world. 16,272 engagements. That is where people made comments or liked the photos on, uh, on Facebook. Over 200,000 engagements throughout the whole campaign, recognizing the, the value that uh, the tool of the year brings to the industry. Over 4,000 votes in total were achieved on Facebook. So of the finalists, um, they were invited to like on the uh, the tool that uh, the people felt were the best looking. Arts tool submission directly had 543 reactions and 161 shares on Facebook. Uh, certainly setting a precedent in terms of people that uh, uh, enjoyed looking at the tool and uh, acknowledged the challenging, challenging aspect of the tool and the winner which was arch county tools garnered over 5,000 uh, clicks and likes within facebook so um, the exposure was phenomenal for for arch but also a recognition to their to their skills and the skills of the team uh, making the tool so with that I am honoured and pleased to again, on behalf of the owners of Anchor and the employees of Anchor, present the 2020 Tool of the Year Award to Arch Cutting Tools.
thank you, Russell. Uh, thank you for making it to Latrobe to present the uh, Anchor Tool of the Year Award. We really appreciate that. Um, we are honored to receive such a prestigious award, and we we uh, thank Anchor for hosting such a great competition that allows it, its customers to show the capabilities and uh, compete with some of the best tool makers from around the world. I want to thank Pat Bolin, Pat McCluskey, and all the whole Anchor team from around the world uh, for your innovative path throughout the years. You've always been in the front of edge of uh, technology, and that's allowed us to be creative and competitive. Congratulations to all the finalists, and thank you to all that competed. You are what makes us better. Without competition, we have nothing to challenge us to be better. We hope to see some great stuff in the next competition, competition and Arch will be there to challenge again. The tool we designed is similar to many tools we provide our customers. It is a multifunctional tool and it does several operations in one holding and saves tool changes and the cost of multiple tools. The drill is designed to drill and ream through a plate. After the drill and the reaming process, we would then push through the form section of the tool and circle, circle and interpolate. Our team was so proud to be able to show the world what we do on a daily basis. We have a very driven team that lives to be creative. I would like to thank the direct team here at Latro for a quick, accurate execution of this very complex tool. Ron Puzak, Jason Rittenauer, John Uppel, Tom Sistick, John Klein, Chris Zello. Appreciate everything you guys do. This is what we do every day. And it was just, it was a fast turnaround. Uh, we were notified one day. We had to design the next day and uh, executed within a couple of days and sent to Australia. So thank you guys. Really appreciate your efforts. It's awesome. Um, I'd like to thank our divisional president, Jeff Searstrom, for all his continued strategic leadership and the vision that keeps us paving our way to success. Thank you to our marketing director, Stacey Eamon, and her great team at the headquarters for all the work on social media and other advertising. You guys rock. Thank you. Thank you to Jonathan Wild for all your efforts throughout this process. You're a true team pit player and a motivator for our company. Uh, thank you to uh, Michael Eps Epsizio from Arch Rhode Island and the Arch Rhode Island team for their input on this process. Really appreciate that. That's what our synergy is at Arch, and, and it's come together and shows throughout this process. Again, thank you all that was involved. We look forward to the next Anchor Tool of the Year competition. Thank you. It's extremely rewarding for me to be part of this uh, um, celebration today. Um, as Jim uh, mentioned, uh, the designing and the, the submission of the uh, Arch Tool was um, definitely a, a collaboration, but also an enjoyable challenge for the, uh, for the team. And part of why um, we get so much enjoyment out of these type of uh, activities and competitions in our day-to-day our -day work and producing custom tools is because uh, excellence in custom tooling is a core value at Arch Cutting Tools. It's, it's part of our DNA. It's what uh, motivates us and it's what excites us. And so, as you can imagine, um, getting an industry recognition like this uh, is extremely gratifying to uh, not only myself personally, but to the, uh, to the rest of the ARCH team. If you take a minute to think about it, this is actually quite a, uh, a humbling experience to be involved in a uh, friendly competition with some of the world's most innovative and technically advanced cutting tool manufacturers in the world. Um, we will use uh, the recognition of the Tool of the Year Award here at Arch to further motivate us to push the limits of, of uh, cutting tool design as well as um, um, uh, meeting the needs of the cutting tool design in order to meet our ultimate goal, which is to meet at the needs of our, our customers and the challenges that they have in their applications day to day. Um, as we mentioned, this is certainly a collaborative effort 
but I did want to take a minute just to thank, say my personal thank you and congratulate the Arch Cutting Tools Latrobe team. Thank you very much. <laughs> much appreciated is your craftsmanship in producing the tool of the year for the competition, but also your ongoing commitment to manufacturing excellence. And then I'd also like to take a minute to, uh, to thank Russell and Keith for taking time to celebrate with us here today. And I also want to thank Anka for hosting the, uh, the Tool of the Year competition because, as you alluded to, Russell, I really do think the competition raises the bar for the industry. So it's a, it's a great activity, and the, uh, the award is uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much. So, um, Russell, I'll go ahead and, and start and kick it off. Yep. Um, one of the trends that uh, we're seeing, um, and it continues to build year over year, is we're seeing uh, more and more interest and uh, in, in the area of uh, uh, custom tooling. Um, Arch Cutting Tools is, uh, we present ourselves as a full service, one-stop shop. So we certainly have um, a broad portfolio of standard tools. In fact. We recently made some significant investments in a, in a uh, automated warehouse in our Warren, Michigan facility. And for the first time, um, we published a uh, uh, full, totally inclusive integrated catalog to make purchasing standard tools easier for our customers. But what differentiates our company is our breadth of, of our custom tooling portfolio. And we're seeing more and more customers come to us and look for support. Um, to reduce um, their manufacturing costs. And uh, what, we, what we've come to see is that tool price uh, will always be a factor, but we're, we're being asked um, to help uh, reduce cycle time, improve tool wear, and uh, a lot of times what that results in is combination tools with um, complex geometries. And the combination of our skilled machinists, designers, and, and technology um, what you bring to the table is really helping to allow this this evolution to flourish. So, Jeff, uh, we anchors looked at it as uh, speed to get to the grinding point. So, develop the program, utilizing anchor 3D simulation, uh, generating your special profile offline while the machine's still running, doing the previous job, downloading the the program to the machine allow you, you to get a better first tool um, production. After completion of the first tool, we, we have a choice to inspect the, the tool in the machine using the Laser Plus system. So utilizing uh, our ability to measure a profile tool uh, through the Laser Plus, automatically uh, compensating the machine to uh, correct any uh, errors in the, the uh, geometry, or we can actually uh, take the, the tool to the Zola machine um, where the, the Zola is integrated to, uh, to the anchor machine. We can do uh, a full contour scan using uh, the Solar Genius 3 and their uh, laser system and identify any imperfections in the tool, download that uh, parameters to, uh, to the machine and correct, uh, correct the profile. Yeah, so when we think of the technology, it's not just the machine and the grinding technology, it's as you say, the, uh, the software. And um, having the software so that it's user friendly, so that we can adapt to a request quickly, um, and, and having not only the software, but, but the machining technology to, to support it. Um, as Jim was talking earlier, the, the tool of the year submission from Arch actually provides 
five separate functions. And so, you know, we're, we're being asked the complexity of the custom tools is, is, is becoming more and more um, evident and, and us being able to quickly adapt to that through the software and the, uh, and the uh, uh, machining technology is absolutely critical to us. Sure. So you mentioned a lot of things there, and, and, and the for, first tool right is the critical point. So we've addressed the pre-grind through the, the simulation software to uh, perfect the tool before it goes to the machine. And then you look at the machine uh, that Anchor brings to the market today, a tubular linear motors, so that uh, we're now the only company with a full linear motor uh, product line that allows us to, uh, to bring accuracy, surface finish, uh, stability to the grinding process. Uh, again, allowing that first tool uh, to be right. In addition to that, uh, a rather simple technology we've recently introduced is uh, spindle temperature controlled. Um, this is a, a software function uh, that maintains uh, spindle temperature. Uh, by doing so, um, it allows us to, to offer our, our customers, you, a stable process, again, allowing for the first tool to be right. And so, so those innovations um, definitely help our ability to deliver a tool to our customers uh, more quickly. Um, one of the programs that we just uh, launched within Arch Cutting Tools to, uh, to kind of showcase that speed is uh, we've got a, a program called Hot Shop. And uh, within Hot Shop, um, if a customer has a need for a custom tool um, in, a, in a hurry and they have a need for speed, um, we're advertising that because of the capabilities that we have in-house, um, we can produce any geometry of a, of a uh, uh, solid uh, carbide round tool and have it delivered within one week's time. And that includes, uh, and that includes coding. So, you know, being able to, to have equipment that's nimble, but then also fast uh, on the floor is enabling that. Another thing that we've done is um, to make it easier for our customers is we've established a, uh, a portal, a web portal called Arch Specials, where um, you can either download um, a drawing, you can uh, use a pull down, a set of pull down menus to get an RFQ, talk to one of our engineers, or uh, upload a DXF file onto our website. So once again, it minimizes the amount of time it takes from the, uh, the need or the idea from code all the way to manufacturing. Yeah, look, uh, um, you know, the cloud is, uh, is a glowing business and, and just so important in, uh, in our business and your business today. You're already saying that you're doing a lot uh, um, in the cloud with uh, your business today. So if you, uh, if you look at what Anchor's doing, we're, uh, we've, we've got the, the ability to uh, network all the machines through our management suite uh, software. So uh, management suite Red X allows us to, uh, to network all the machines. So you're, from a global position, you can uh, download files from your host computer anywhere throughout the country. Um, you can monitor real-time performance of the machine. You can uh, uh, schedule and maintain uh, your machine through the uh, management suite, uh, predict uh, maintenance uh, requirements. Um, again, fitting within your uh, just-in-time uh, requirements to your customer. So I can keep an eye on all the, the manufacturing locations from my office. Sorry about that, Jim. Sorry. Uh, you can... Uh, you can uh, monitor cycle time and output for sure. Yeah, so, you know, from a productivity standpoint, machine monitoring is, is up there at the top for us. And we've recently kicked off a, uh, an ANCA user group um, to share and leverage uh, ideas on how to optimize machine performance. But the other thing you mentioned that's intriguing to, to, uh, to us is that, you know, we have multiple facilities and being able to share a, uh, the program um, being able to share uh, quality data because um, a lot of times, you know, with as many manufacturing locations as we have, we have the ability to, uh, to serve as a backup, uh, have backup locations um, depending on the, the demand that's out there. So being able to replicate that program, but then also compare quality 
parameters between the machines is it going to become more and more important to us. Very critical. And I'm, one of the keys of uh, management suite and Red X is the ability to move programs uh, around throughout your uh, your anchor platforms uh, at any of your, divi your divisions around the globe. Um, the other thing is that, um, ask you kind of an open-ended question here. 2020 was an unprecedented year. Um, demand was down. It was choppy. Um, flexibility needed to be important, but we also spent time um, on the shop floor um, trying to find ways to uh, social distance. Um, there's a global um, uh, need for skilled labor, and so the need for automation uh, continues to be there yeah. um, because the skilled skilled uh, uh, workforce is just is at a premium right now. Um, what what are you folks working on? Um, in, the, in the area of uh, automation um, that can help uh, help companies survive in times like these. 2020 was definitely a, a, an interesting year. Uh, um, moving forward from that, we, we still see ch challenges that exist today uh, due to the pandemic. Uh, it certainly changed the way that, that we and our customers uh, do business or need to do business. Uh, we look at, at certain sectors that, that uh, are down at the moment. Aerospace uh, remains down, um, but our customers are wanting more output, uh, better quality, um, more productivity, and uh, they're trying to do that with uh, um, less workforce, but not less workforce because uh, they want to reduce it's just the skill level available today is just not there and so anchor looking at this we've uh, uh, developed uh, what we call anchor integrated manufacturing systems uh, this is uh, called aims for short and it's the ability to uh, bring a, a stock piece of carbide at the front end and at the back end have a, a finished tool packaged, ready to go out to your customer without uh, a manual or operator input throughout the process. So this allows end-to-end -end grinding. We uh, can peel grind, we can uh, manufacture the cutting tool, we can inspect, and even recently looking at the processes of the cutting tool, the missing, what, what application was missing within the anchor product was uh, laser etching. So Anchor recently released uh, uh, Auto X Mark and uh, this is a, a product that will uh, fit within AIMS to allow you to uh, etch the cutting tool or it can be set up inside a machine cell to automatically uh, laser etch the tool um, at the end of the process. So we're looking at AIMS uh, being the, the some people might think of it as the future, but AIMS is here today. We have 10 companies throughout the world that have invested in, in AIMS and looking for that automated system for end-to-end for -end cutting tool manufacturing. Yeah, thanks. Um, I can tell you that we're gonna continue to be looking for um, additional investments in automation so that we can continue to meet the needs of our customers, speed up the process, and uh, be able to grow with uh, with the industry. So I'm interested to hear more about uh, about Ames as as we move forward. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wind things down. Uh, once again, appreciate you uh, spending the time to come come celebrate with us here today, both uh, both you and Keith. And I uh, want to thank everyone who's taken time to uh, join us in our celebration. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.